So they just, they've been harassing me with the sirens pretty much all night. And then they just had a, um, now what's going on? Let me see, see, look at this. Again? Another night. Look. This is the same. I was just about to try to go to, you know, try to go to bed. Same thing again. Another night. This is second car. I mean, two. it's two, two cars, two police vehicles. And look at this perp neighbor playing a game or something on his phone. This perp. So yeah, um, a little while earlier, they were, um, a little while earlier, they were, um, you know, harassing me off and on with the sirens just passing by, you know, with the harassment. And that's a perp with funny headlights. But it's like, if it ain't on this street, it's always on that street right there that the police would stop people. And I don't know if they're truly giving them a ticket. But why does this happen so often? Like almost every day or several times a week that you y'all are pulling somebody over. And as I said, you know, look at this perp over here. He's freaking blasting something loud on his phone look at the sky and it's the wind is starting to pick up and it's very cloudy like another police vehicle this is kind of like the same from the other night this is the third police car So the third police car, he's way over there, and he's the other two. But this perp bastard here, freaking ignorant, reprobate, and ridiculous. Yeah, I see even the grown adults being freaking childish. Y'all tell me to grow up and act like an adult, but y'all do some stupid stuff. Let me go back inside. It's now um, 11.29 p.m. at the moment. So, I got the air on 86. And why do I still feel like I'm freezing cold. I still feel like I'm cold. But, um, I started to feel sleepy. Very sleepy and tired. And it was like, not even yet 11.10. It wasn't even 11.10 yet. And I, like, it was like 11.07. And I started to doze off and start to fall asleep. And then, you know, a few, a couple of minutes before this police incident right here, I started to feel this high level physical energy of wanting to, you know, whoa, damn. I hate that this happened. This is my clothes right here. So I'll deal with that tomorrow. His bag fell on the floor. But, um. And so. <clears throat> so, I mean, it's like. 
I'm, see, I, see what I mean? How, you know, the moment I try to go to bed, there's some disruption or some distraction on purpose. So before I go, since I'm on camera, I might as well say that um, they had this online perp called Gang Stalking Must Be Stopped. And you you have no no videos at all, no videos at all, um, and you had this YouTube account for six months, but you never came across me before, or maybe you have under a different name. And so, the video that I did, you know, talking about the ex-boyfriend Alex, this perp comes on and talk about, you know, well, um, what, what, because, like, on the video that I just did talking about, you know, how I needed help with, you know, at least another $40, people on Twitter were totally ignoring me, you know, so I got a little possible hope on YouTube. So... This perp, this online perp that calls himself, um, the online perp that calls himself gang stalking must be stopped, came in, like, because I was talking about needing help with $40 and stuff, you know, to get to stay here longer. So, it's like, while, while I was uploading that video, it was after I filmed, after I recorded it, and then... I was in the middle of uploading it. It wasn't even uploaded yet. You know, I kind of had just started to upload it. And it's like, after I uploaded the video, I'm, I'm sorry, after I recorded the video, but before I uploaded the video asking for $40, that person commented on the video I did about Alex <clears throat> and t try to talk about some, oh, um, you have been rude, you, you've been, ha you've been like ungrateful and rude, you, you know, to every TI that's, that has donated to you. And I'm like, shut the fuck up, because you, you, you got many signs that you a perp. You got no content on your videos. And then, you, you know, why comment about, you, you know, oh, they got just a random comment like that on a video I was I don't even think I even mentioned I don't even think I mentioned money um on a video talking about Alex I don't think I did so you just randomly come and comment about the money thing and try to make it like well TIs don't like or respect you because oh you've been rude to everybody every TI that has donated to you and which is not true you know some of the TIs that used to support me two years ago and used to encourage me, go put up that GoFundMe. And now they got the narrative changed after they become perps and start to act a certain way. So, that, so they're no longer TIs, you, you know, or no, they're no longer authentic TIs. They have made that decision to become a perp. But then the TIs turn perps or fake TI perps, they still want to falsely glorify themselves as being, you know, part of the targeted individual community. So that's where there's all this doggone confusion and everything. But people want to try to make it like, oh, that's why nobody want to help you because you're an ungrateful scammer that's rude to everybody that's donated to you and you got an attitude. You know, to, you, you get an attitude towards everybody that donate to you and stuff. In which I've already said that, you know, if some, somebody, and it doesn't happen with everybody that donate, but it happened with a lot of perps, you know, pretending to be there to help. And then after they donate like $10, and then they show themselves as a perp and start to, you know, throw occult numbers in my face or, or, um, you know, tell me, oh, stop, stop doing YouTube videos because, you know, you make the TI community look crazy or you make us look bad and stuff. Or they do something else abusive. 
I mean, I already talked about that before, you know, but not everybody has that has donated to me give me a problem. That I'm not saying that at all, you know, because they had people who had donated to me, you know, and targeted or not, you know, they're still, you know, they... They, even though I hardly have much anybody left, but targeted or not, you know, they don't have any ill towards me, and I haven't blocked them. So, you know, they make that false smear campaign on purpose so I couldn't get help. Because, as I said, they want to try to make sure that they cover every avenue <clears throat> to um, make sure nobody helps me on purpose so that they can have leave me with the only options to um, sell out like them and become a perp or um, commit suicide. And that's why they're trying to make sure that nobody helps me. They try to make it like the only way, I, like I, the only way I'm allowed the right to live and survive is for me to perp, be willing to perp for survival. But that's just more of the perp smear campaigns, you know, lying and saying that Oh, well, um, Candy's unappreciative and ungrateful and she's rude. And that she's ungrateful and that she's rude to everybody who donates to her. Or they'll lie and say, well, she blocks everybody that donated to her. And it's like, I can't win for losing. You know, and I just stepped outside and now the, um, the... Fleas are attacking my right arm. Some, I mean, so, yeah, I didn't have a, a flea issue until after that lady came here. And so the lady, I think she's gone, and I'm still having been bitten up by, I can't stand straight outside because, you know, being bit by fleas, attacked by fleas. And they got some days I don't even leave out of this room and still get attacked by fleas. So... I only ate twice today, and I had, you know, leftover that chicken-flavored rice with pork, I mean, yeah, pork and beans, and, you know, chicken breast with barbecue sauce on it. And so, around 10.30, I was tempted to, I was still hungry and tempted to go eat out the snack machine, but I, I said, you know, I haven't only ate, got out the snack machine like maybe once or twice here. So I felt like, well, I don't want that to be a habit. And I don't want to eat so late. And so, you know, I took a bath um, earlier. It was like a mixture of a bath and a shower earlier. Um, and so... Now I'm finally clean. <laughs> I'm clean, you know. But it's like, I guess, you know, self-care with, you know, suffering depression and just going through stuff. Um, but it's like... So I'm, I'm, I mean, it's like they, they're trying to keep me sleep deprived and, and distract me from trying to go to sleep and trying to go to bed, <clears throat> you know. So um, I really am shocked that people really don't care about me not, you know, get, it's like people act like as if they want to try to force me to die. It's like they want to suppress me from trying to survive and stay safe. And, and they don't care that I'm a female, but they have, I'm sick of, you know, the fake smear campaigns lying and saying that, well, you know, don't donate to her because she's ungrateful. And, and the only people who say this are, are people who are not real TIs or people who, who are perps or people who have flipped and became a perp. They don't, they're the only ones who say candy is rude to everybody who, you know, if they, if they try to say, well, Candy is rude to everybody who donated to her, or Candy is rude to every T.I. that has donated to her, and stuff like that. 
and so other people have it's like they made sure there was like a rumor false rumor spread like wildfire and so you know the purpose wanted to make sure i don't even have emotional support they want to make sure that i don't get any money off my ebooks or you know can't make a living and it seems like is their smear campaign tactics are you know very effective and so um they want to make sure that i get no help no support from anybody but i'm not going to name names but they have because some people want to, you know, I respect their ana their desire for anonymi anonymity. I think I pronounced that right. You know, th their, I think I pronounced that correctly. So, so you know, their right to, you know, want to remain anonymous. So I respect that. But, um, so, I mean, yeah, that online perp came. It's like, how can you write gang stalking must be stopped and yet you're a gang stalker yourself? I don't even think that's a fake T.I. perp. I think that's a, a regular perp, you know, who is mocking targeted individuals. You know, how can you say gang stalking must be stopped and then turn around and, and act like a perp? As I said, I never saw this person before, you know. And then, and, and and that's one thing that the professed targets get an attitude with me, and and say, well, can't you just block them or can't you just ignore them? Well, I mean, that was that the first time that person ever commented, at least on that account. So yeah, I blocked them. I screenshot what that person said, and I blocked that person. And um, for a moment, it seemed like as if, like, damn, I can't even delete this bastard's comment. So um, I guess the comment won't show up. But then somebody that was supportive of, of me, um, you know, made a supportive comment on one of my videos. And it seemed like as if, as if her comment was censored or shadow banned, you know. But it's like, I don't even have time to be, you know, playing games like that. If they want to falsely accuse me of being rude to other people who've donated to me. And it seems like as if the real targeted individuals are actually falling for that lie also. And separating themselves from me and wanting nothing to do with me. And, you know, it was the perps and the fake T.I. perps, you know, brainwashed the real T.I.s to believe that I'm a that I'm a counterfeit targeted individual, that I'm not a real TI, despite me showing my proof every single day, you know. So, but it's like the, the fake TI perps who go around and undercover perping after they flipped and became a perp, after they, you know, gained their popularity and then become fake, it's like, it's got a, it's made to seem like as if I'm no match for the popular face when when battling against them you, you know so I mean as I said the, even the so-called real targets have separated themselves from me because of the lies false rumors and smear campaigns you know said about me and then when the perps get the upper hand, the online perps, when they get the up, when they see that they're getting the upper hand and I'm having a meltdown, you know, they ignorantly laugh. But if I got the upper hand and I'm just doggone surviving successfully, then they want to have a, a retarded narcissistic conniption fit or an over-exaggerated fake meltdown. So, um, it, it's just, it's just really crazy, you, you know? So, I mean, and, and, and it's like, 
I think I did mention that the Timothy Sanchez perp. I caught him. He lied and said that. I mean, that was him and the. Uh, I forgot what that lady's name was, but the Timothy Sanchez perp from last September. Um, when I went through Hurricane Ida and stuff like that, and they had all that flooding downtown Pensacola. And I showed footage and evidence of the, the doggone flooding, and, and, and T.I. still didn't want to help me. So people, I mean, even if you're not targeted, you know, whoever came across my video, they still didn't want to help me. And it's like, how can y'all say I'm a scammer, a fake, and a fraud when I'm showing y'all footage of, you know, I'm pointing at y'all and showing y'all, look, look how bad, you know, four feet of water, of flooding, and it's like, how y'all expect me to sleep outside and, and something like that? Y'all are the, the dog are crazy, boy. But, you know, the, the battle and the struggle, to, you know, to fight to survive, and, and so it's like, I mean, if I'm showing y'all, you know, physical footage of bad weather, and asking for help to get off the streets just, you know, until the bad weather passes. And then uh, they, they want to be like, oh, well, don't help her. She, you know, she's a, she going to take the money and go buy some shoes with it. But, you know, I never did such a thing like that. Ooh, wait a minute. Is that the police again? Oh, I, I wasn't sure if that was the police or bad or, or lightning. But, um, because the weather's supposed to be bad again tonight. So, um, next week, from Tuesday through at least next Friday, it seems like as if it's supposed to rain every single day. So, that Timothy Sanchez perp lied and said that whoever donated, um, he tried to lie and say that each and every and all anonymous donations on GoFundMe come from him. When he when he hasn't donated a, like a damn penny. So I caught him lying about that because they have people who I know for a fact who have told me that they donated. And they did donate. And... You know, they did it anonymously because they, you know, they didn't want to be seen. But this Timothy Sanchez perp lied and said that, um, you know, he lied and said that each and every one of those anonymous donations come from him when he didn't donate not one penny. But, you know, he acted shady from the get-go and then falsely professed to be Christian. And he admitted that he got my phone number from the Citizens a AHT website, like one of those forums or whatever. Um, one of those targeted individual forums, which they don't have that many. But he admitted that that's where he got my phone number from. Because he tried to lie and pretend like he was part of some organization and I don't even remember exact detail of what happened, but you know he he was you know acting really shady. But him and I, I think the female her last name was Rankins or something, and I don't remember her first name. Cannot remember. But you know that's that's the games that they play, and I've caught even some you, you know some fake Ti perps and regular perps who have been like, pretended to be like fake victims of me that they try to come, pretend like they came were coming forward and say oh yeah because I donated too and stuff like that when you when you know damn well you haven't donated a penny so here you, you know they're bull, you know bullying me about the donations again you, you know and about fundraisers and stuff when this is what I'm forced to resort to in order to survive I mean, I, I told y'all what happened with Domino's. Aldi did not hire me. And, you know, a slew, I mean, I went to that, that car dealership. 
that you know the guy waited till after I got there and like he lied and said no experience necessary and then after I got there then he wanted to try to tell me well you you know you need to have experience and come back in a year when you get experience when you finally get experience and so you know a couple of his you know employees acting like perks towards me you know so I already knew that wasn't going to be a good fit, but wasted Uber ride trips to, you know, job interviews that I end up not even getting, even with Amazon, Amazon DSP, somebody suggested that I go there and try to get a job, and, you know, they played a whole doggone game, so, you know, I had been trying here and there, and you know, the online perps want to make it like, well, you shouldn't have quit your job or you shouldn't have done that. Well, with the last job, I mean, the job assignment was up after a few days anyway. I, I, I mean, it, the job assignment was going to be up, you know, like I ended up quitting due to the workplace mobbing and the gang stalking, you know, being too unbearable. And, you know, I didn't want for a physical altercation with being with the, you know, Miss that lady, Miss Brenda, acting like she wanted to get, get gangsta and ghetto on me and wanted to fight me and stuff like that, you know. And so I felt like, you know, I ain't going to jail. So, um... They kept defending Mr. John and Miss Brenda against me and try to make it like they can do no wrong. And so, um, and I got sick and tired of Mr. John being a perp and acting like he thought he was my handler or overseer. And, you know, he, he was a, per, a, a demonic perp to the core. You, you know, and, and, and these people who practice witchcraft these bastards who practice witchcraft and falsely say that they're a Christian and act like, like they falsely masquerade as a Christian but and, and then act like they want to warn you against witchcraft and evil and then behind closed doors you catch them red-handed, you know, participating in this very same witchcraft and occultism and stuff like that too. And they had somebody who just acted like he wanted to subscribe to me. And he was, you know, I went to look at his profile. And he was subscribed to both professed Christians, tarot card readers, beads, and, uh, you know, those bead thingies associated with, with witchcraft and stuff. And, you know, it's like you, you're trying to play both sides if you subscribe to both Christians and you know, new age occultism and witchcraft and stuff, you know. So Mr. John tried to tell me about Building 9 being haunted, that number 9 being an occult number. So, I I mean, I don't even know how, it's very hard to try to convince people of the truth that I'm not this rude, mean, angry scammer like the online perps try to falsely make me out to be. And those same people making those lies and false rumors and smear campaigns, those are the same people who act like as if they want to offer me deals to sell out and become a perp. And then, you know, I'm the ev- I'm so evil because I blocked all contact with them. You know, I've, you know, blocked block their accounts and then you know they want to act like they want to seek never ending revenge you know against me for blocking them and stuff like that but you know if you want to say well I heard that you that you were rude to everybody who has donated to you I mean if it's a, if it's not a video concerning that then then why come and randomly say something like that or the video that does not even talking about the money or any money or donations 
I'm sitting here talking about, you know, um, narcissistic abuse from an ex-boyfriend, you know, and, and that had nothing to do with, you know, the begging or donations or nothing. You know, but then you just randomly come and say something like that. And and what business is it of yours? If you haven't donated, then then why should you be concerned or care? And so that's how I, that's how I realize you're a perp. So if you're a perp, why do you put up an account, you know, pretending to be a T.I. and say, well, gang stalking must be stopped? Well, it starts with you. How about you stop gang stalking first and then let everything fall like dominoes and let everybody else stop gang stalking too. But that ain't going to happen. But that that's like all the the manipulation and mind games that they play. Cuz then you want to say gang stalking must be stopped and then, you know, I might come click on that profile 6 months from now and you might ha have, you know, that same account that you know, if I click on it and then it'll say all oh, hell Satan or some shit like that. So don't you freaking come at me, you know, with the fake name talking about gang stalking must be stopped and then turn around and act like a perp.